wrapping up over here. Let's finish this thing out, man. We worked hard all season for this, baby. Let's get it. Easy money on three. One, two, three. Easy money. Let's go. Number 25 in white leads the team in assists, can finish as well, but there is the guy that feels he should have been the player of the year, Rashawn Thomas with a rejection. Open look for the guy that is the player of the year, and the flush from Eric Thomas. Big deal, and you get for Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, because of his efficiency on the offensive end. South sidestepping through the paint, and a good start for the retro freshman. We're gonna go back to the screen and roll with Kilgore at the top, making those decisions, and there again, finding a Martinez. That's the X factor. Yeah, Martinez with some missed, easy finishes like the one there, and then, of course, some turnovers. A bit much would be the case for my comfort level if I were coaching in a game like a championship-caliber game. Look how Eric Thomas just slowly came up as the unlikely hero and was, was a... Con Strongly contested game on either side. Martinez, the San Antonio native. He's got Thomas. You see, he didn't just raise up right over him. That's because of Poe's length. Look at those arms. I mean, you got to deal with that and try to get a shot off. Not easy. Kilgore, but that man can get it off easy. He is a kid. Backdoor cut. Thomas blocked by Schmidt. Second effort is there. And you can see Eric Thomas starting to try to take control of this game. Corpus Christi up by four. Uh, a lot of this was predictable in terms of how teams would try to play. I really think in this environment, <laughs> as oh. Martinez knocks the shot down, the advantage needing a run to get to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1996. Thomas tries to spark that run. Zeno the putback, and maybe this gets the privateers going. Yeah, and this team going in my favor because that's what basketball is. It's a game of momentum, and it can shift and swing in a matter of one or two plays. Kilgore, oh. stay hot. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. oh, more game. Every part of it. Averaging 11 points per game this season. Cohen tries to you save it. get on him. You Kilgore. better get on him. Keeps it rolling. He said, call me up. You see that? And they don't need to call you. For New Orleans. Kilgore wants it, gets it, but it's short. Three seconds on the clock. Fry, the heave, gets it to drop. Nate Fry beating the buzzer and momentum going the way of New Orleans. And his first opportunity to take a team to the dance as a head coach. Thomas packing down Poe, second chance, rattles in. Nine points for Sean Thomas. I'm sure don't want to see them anymore. They're a very good team that you would have thought would have a chance to be in the tournament. Uh-oh, Chris Davis Gill. Gill on the mean. Royals, awkward pull up, but gets it to drop. And here come the privateers. Seven zip run. We got a we can talk about two things at once. We can talk about the Redbirds not getting in the tournament, possibly as well as the game. Privateers know there's one way to get in, and it's to keep battling. Tevin Royal, here's team, had a chance to get New Orleans the lead. Martinez, staying perfect from distance. He's got 12, four to four from three-point rush. The Texas A&M able to shoot with great execution from beyond the arc. He's 8 of 10 from 3 here in Katy, Texas. Great 5 from Thibodeau, the leading assist man, to Michael Zeno from Beaumont, Texas. The textbook knew what kept going on. It was like a batter hitting a bunch of foul balls. I say unforced, but when you get the ball with two on the clock, it's a little different. Some pressure there. And we have a tie ball game. Zeno, not a rematch of last year's championship game. Inside feed. Thibodeau, strong. And that's an example of sinking and helplessness on AM Corpus Christi's part. Thibodeau, stopping Thomas. Kilgore pulls it up and knocks it down. Two point game. Well, he's so to ex put together a play and your team doesn't execute it, extremely disappointing. Amin. 
with the 40 to get his first bucket of the game. Boy, in the yard. Perfect four of four. Firing daggers, late clock here. South, the floater gets it to drop with the nice lefty. Oh, run in response for AM Corpus Christi. The kick to Gill with confidence. Got it. Where do you go right here for New Orleans? Need a bucket. Well, you got to go through your best player, Kirk Thomas. And there he is. <laughs> and it works. Of course. Funny how that works out. And it's right on the block, meaning right around the tournament title. Two minutes left in the Southland Conference Championship game. Thomas what? with the full head of steam. Thomas and Thomas is what this game is turning into. It's 96, a loss, and they're still locked into the NIT. 115 left from Katie, Texas. The leave. And the finish from Broyles. Boy, they Everybody were... else went right by him in the privateer. Play. Martinez does not get the roll. And with eight tenths of a second left, You've got to break it up. Kilgore picks it off. He keeps it up. Hey, you got anything to do? <laughs> yes, stay right here is what I have to do. This game had the smell of overtime. And he's so strong and low to the ground. He gets to his spots. He can just raise up and knock the shot down. Martinez got this one. He's only missed once. 15 points. Royals spinning past Kilgore and somehow gets it past the outstretched arms of well, If he should miss here, you have got to come up with the rebound if you hand him Corpus Christi. After three straight misses, Royals gets that one to go. 25.8. New Orleans. Got to get in by quick. three. Timeout, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Here. Zip pass to Thomas. Too strong. Put back. No good. And hold that thought. Hold that thought, says the officiating crew, as New Orleans starts to celebrate. I think they... So the delay was to make sure there is the correct amount of time on the clock. Eight tenths of a second left. The ball in the hands of the conference player of the year, Eric Thomas. They're going long. Uh, you, you can see it. It's going long. And from the cusp of a demotion to D3 to D1's big dance, the New Orleans privateers have commandeered the Southland Conference Championship. Well, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Agony in defeat. What a great game. Incredible effort by both teams. Went all the way down to the last possession, as you would expect, Lowell. They nearly sent this program to D3 basketball. But now New Orleans in the NCAA tournament. That's all from Katy, Texas. Champ Week continues next as UC Davis takes on UC Irvine for the Big West Championship. Let's head out to the Honda Center in Anaheim.